Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Largely Catechized Life. Okay, so in the fifth commandment, you shall not murder. Remember that God is actually calling us to love our neighbor. And that means that it's going to go deeper than just not stabbing or shooting people. See, I love my kids. And so if they're playing in traffic and I see a big truck barreling towards them, it's not enough to say, I'm not driving that truck, so it's fine if they get hit. That would that'd be bad. To love your neighbor, it means you actually want to help them. And so in the small catechism, Luther tells us that we should fear and love God, that we do not hurt or harm our neighbor in his body, but help and support him in every physical need. You see, it's not enough that we just not actively harm people. God actually calls us to love them, even help them. In the large catechism, he writes, under this commandment, not only is he guilty who does evil to his neighbor, but he also who can do him good, prevent, resist evil, defend and save him so that no bodily harm or hurt happen to him, and yet does not do it. So basically, remember, no matter how you happen to feel about a particular sinner, God loves that sinner so much that he gave his life to save him. That means he calls you not just to feel nice about him, but actually help him, to help and support him in all of his physical needs. And that means that a lot of the Christian excuses go out the window. The idea that, well, I'll just, I'll pray for you, but I'm not actually going to help, that doesn't fly. It should actually be both. You should pray for your neighbor and help and support them in all of their physical needs. And remember, neighbor means everybody, just everybody who you happen to share this earth with, which means, well, more sinners. We can't help everybody, even when we try, and a lot of the time, we don't because it's just a lot easier to pray for somebody and go on with your day than to actually take the time to help them. Our hope is not going to be in fulfilling God's law so we can earn our salvation. Our hope is in Christ alone who died for our neighbor and also died for us to forgive us of all of our sins. Our salvation is not dependent on helping everybody around us, but, well, our neighbor's well-being is. And so this isn't something to neglect just because we know it's forgiven. There's people out there who need help. You can help them. Love your neighbor. It's just that simple. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org, clicking on support, and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran.